So I just made accidentally a little bit too much sponge cake dough and oh well I just have to make another cake then for Halloween. I'm sure the neighbors and my friends will be super upset as well. So what about if I make today a dairy-free coffin cake for Halloween? So I got half the batter left for my mummy cake. I can definitely make with that a coffin cake. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bake my different sponge cake layers. So I'm going to line both of those baking sheets and bake my excess sponge cake. And I'm going to spread pretty thin sponge cake layers. And I'm going to bake now my sponge cake for probably 20 minutes. I'm going to have to check because the layers are pretty thin. So let's think what would be a nice filling for my coffee cake. I want to have a banana filling. So for that I'm thinking I may want to weigh 500 grams of banana. I normally use one kilo of berries, so maybe I'm going to use 500 grams of banana. And ideally I have some nice ripe bananas. Maybe just 400 grams of banana because I just have 400 grams. So I'm going to use some water. If I don't want to use water, I could use also probably a dairy-free milk substitute. I'm going to measure 300 grams of water. And let's hope I have to blend down the right settings so I don't get it all over myself. So here's my banana puree. Pour my banana puree in the pot and I'm going to heat it up. How much sugar do I really want to add to my bananas? Because they're already pretty sweet. So I'm going to put 50 grams of sugar in. Mm, maybe I put 50 grams of dark brown sugar to it. Let's do that. So I'm going to add the dark brown sugar now to the bananas. Here. Going to try to see if that's sweet enough. And the brown sugar is a nice touch. It brings out the caramelized flavor of the bananas more out. I want to also add some coconut oil because that gives it a little bit of that rich, buttery, creamy, milky flavor. That always tastes good. I'm gonna measure, measure about 50 grams. And I'm gonna set the coconut oil aside. And then I wanna thicken the banana also with some cornstarch. But I'm gonna have to prepare my cornstarch mixture. I'm gonna add some water to it. The cornstarch dissolves much faster when I just add some water to it. I'm gonna add the cornstarch to the banana. And I can feel how it thickens up the banana now. You can see also the texture change now. I'm gonna turn off the stove. Gonna taste it. Mm. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna add now my refined coconut oil. And then I'm gonna steer the banana puree and the coconut oil. And yeah, that little bit of coconut oil gave it a little bit of richness to the flavor which I was looking for. I'm gonna set the filling aside now and let it cool down. The banana filling started to cool down, but you can see how thin it still is. So I think I have to thicken up the puree a bit more. So I'm gonna add half a package of gelatin, mix it underneath it and just let the gelatin absorb the water content. And I'm gonna set that aside again because by now you know, the gelatin will just take a little bit to get absorbed by the banana puree. I don't have a coffin shaped form, so I will have to come up with my own solution for that. And here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna create a template and I'm gonna use a piece of paper for that. So I'm gonna fold it. And I wanna make sure the edges are really nicely aligned. And then about two thirds, which is, that's 12 inches. I'm gonna use that to mark my paper. And that would be a really thick, coffin so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so I'm gonna measure here 1.5 inches mm, looks actually like a pretty decent coffin to me so I can use this shape to cut my cake I'm gonna cut my coffin shape now so that's layer one so here's the second layer 
It's a two-part piece. Here's the next layer. And I'm gonna see if I can get one more layer out of the little bits and pieces I got. But that might be stretching it. Okay, so I got four layers out of it. So I'm gonna quick have to heat up against the banana filling just for the gelatin to dissolve. I'm gonna turn off the heat because I really just want a quick melt the gelatin. So the next thing I have to make is my Nutella buttercream. So for a buttercream, I normally use a ratio from one to two. Like I'm gonna have 200 grams of butter and 400 grams of powdered sugar. I'm gonna add Nutella though to it. So I'm gonna use a little bit less sugar and a little bit more Nutella. So this is 250 grams of butter substitute. And I wanna use 200 grams of vegan or milk-free, dairy-free Nutella substitute. And I'm gonna add it to my butter. I'm gonna whip it in my stand mixer. So I'm gonna add 500 grams of powdered sugar. So you can see how the buttercream turned now into a light brown, but I really want a really dark brown. So I'm gonna add probably 50 grams of cacao powder. Gonna quick taste it. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And here's my finished buttercream. So the tricky part will be to assemble the cake. I'm gonna use that as my base layer. I'm gonna use the buttercream and put it over it and evenly distribute the buttercream. I don't like the buttercream layer to be too thick because that would make it a bit too sweet. If you like it super sweet, certainly make the layer thicker. And now I'm gonna add my second layer to it. And I'm gonna use my little bit broken uh, coffin format. So here's a little bit of the coffin shape. And now I have to pour the little bit more liquid banana and I need to make sure that it doesn't escape. So that's gonna be interesting. So I almost need to make a custom mousse form. And I think I can maybe do that with aluminum foil. So it's maybe not the perfect form. Hopefully it is enough to keep the banana mousse from going all over the place. Okay, seems somewhat to work. And I'm gonna spread some of the buttercream on the top of this coffin shape. And I'm gonna add now my second layer on the top of my banana puree. And then I'm going to put the final layer. And I'm going to put the rest of the banana on the top of it. And here is my banana coffin shaped cake. I'm going to put the cake now into the freezer. Again to let the pudding and everything settle. I'm gonna remove now the aluminum foil and you can see by now the banana pudding has pretty much set. But I have to clean up the edges. So I'm gonna take my chef's knife and I'm gonna cut straight lines just to clean up the edge of my coffin cake. The cake edges now look really nice and sharp and what I wanna do is now add the vegan Nutella buttercream um, as my crumb layer to the edges of my cake. And what a crumb layer does is it just holds the cake together. And I have to put the cake now back into the freezer for 20-30 minutes just to make sure the crumb layer gets really nice and hard. Because it's butter, so it freezes and it gets hard. And now I'm going to apply my second layer of buttercream to the crumb layer of the buttercream where I can also get a bit more creative with its texture and so on. I do want though to have a cross on the top of my coffin, so I'm going to take a sharp knife and cut into it a cross shape and I'm gonna carefully add now some Nutella into my cross. I think I'm gonna add some parsley to the edge of my coffin so it looks like some greenery is growing. And here is my coffin cake. 
and apparently it was a big success and people really enjoyed eating the banana Nutella vegan cake in the office. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye.